Now that we have some files and folders to play with, let's learn how to copy things. There are some basic rules for copying that apply to file management or could also apply if you're copying maybe clip art inside a PowerPoint presentation or maybe you're copying a word or a sentence from an email from one email to another or maybe you're copying a formula in Excel from one cell to another. The copy procedure in Windows always has some basic rules that you have to follow. One rule is, is that when you copy something, the original is always left intact. The computer doesn't disturb the original thing when you do a copy procedure. You end up with two of the original because you're making a copy. When you do your copy, there are four steps that you always have to follow, and they're here in front of you on the screen. Step number one is you find the item you wish to copy and you select it. Step number two is you issue the copy command. Step number three is that you navigate to the destination area. You go find the target area of where you want to copy to. And then the last step, step number four, is you issue the paste command. So let's do that. I'll minimize these steps for just a second. Here I am looking at my flash drive. I'll go into the computer class area. I'll go into my Word folder. I've added a few more files since the last video you saw. But we still have that homework for week two. I'm going to click it one time to select it. That, col that completes step one. You have to notice I did not double click it. If I had double clicked it, it would have opened that file into the program that created it. And you cannot copy something when it's open. It must be closed. So I only single clicked it. That blue highlight tells me now that it is selected. Now I need to do step number two. I need to issue the copy command. I'll do that this way. I'll click on the Organize button on the toolbar, and I'll click the word Copy. It looks like nothing happened, but we're okay. At the moment, the computer is now thinking about the fact that we want to copy that particular file. I'm now ready for step number three, which is to navigate to the destination area. I'll use my address bar to do this. I'll click to go back to the flash drive primary level. I'll double click on math class. There's a few more files in there too. Now I'm ready to do step number four because I have now navigated to the destination area. I'm now ready to paste the copy of that file into this destination area. And that's easy to do. Once again, I'll use the organize button on my toolbar and I'll click paste. And there is the copy of the file that originated back in my computer class Word folder. So now I have two versions of that file. I have one here in my math class folder. And if I go back in here and go look at Word, I still have the original in my computer class Word folder. So remember, there are always four steps for copying. You find the item you wish to copy and you select it. You issue the copy command, you navigate to the destination area, and then you issue the paste command.